Here I have a Dutz diesel. They're made in Germany. They're air cooled. Seems to be a cover here where you can get in and clean the fins on the sides of the cylinders. Fan is belt driven. Apparently it was in a forklift, three wheeled forklift. I don't know exactly what. It was priced cheap and I couldn't really say no. It's an F2L511. Tried to look up online and all I found is that it's a 26 horse, two cylinder air cooled diesel. It has an oil bath style intake. You take these off, there's oil in here that's filled to this line. See the lift pump here. We're gonna have to put some fuel in that hose right there. We'll have a, some type of fuel source, probably just a bottle. It does have a return line right here inside the injector. It's packed with mud, probably from a mud wasp. Pull the stick on it, looks pretty good. A little bit down, but of course it's sitting on a severe angle, so I'm sure it's actually full. Flipped it over. I don't see any major issues. Nothing's busted or really messed up or cobbled. I do see they have this lag bolt here. Type of linkage right there. I don't know if it's the throttle or what. The injection pump is right there. There's some type of odd spring bolt right there. I don't I don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to do something with the governor. It might just have something to do with the throttle. So I'm gonna start by removing the hydraulic pump, getting a fuel tank and a battery, and see if it'll fire up. Never quite seen a coupler like that. It looks like it's pretty good shape. engine oil. A small engine oil cooler right there. Fins of the fan are right there. A little bit of oil in it. It's really clean. I have a different looking one. Definitely some gunk in there, but I think that's from the unfiltered side. So here's a little trick for you. You need to clean a battery terminal and you don't have the correct tool. You can use a bolt that has a lot of threads or all thread. Just get in there and run it like a foil. So I'm going to do that a little more to get that in better shape. 
The other side's just gonna get some vice grips and clamp it on there since they got two different flavors going on. Have the battery hooked up, grounded to the flywheel housing, positive cable right here. There's a small terminal on the starter. Let's see if it cranks. Slap together this fuel system. This line is all frayed, but it's fine. That's pulling fuel from the can. It's the lift pump. Now we'll supply it to the injection pump. It'll go over to the injectors through here. And then here's the return line. And that's where it returns. So all I'm doing is running the hand pump on the lift pump. Sometimes you gotta bump the motor over, get it in the right location. If it's not moving anything, you might have a hole in your pickup line, or you could have a blockage. I believe typically there is a screen in here. Sometimes that's a banjo bolt. You can get a bunch of stuff there. Sometimes you can just run this hand pump. It'll come out the return line. A lot of times there's bleeder screws on the injection pump, but I honestly don't know anything about this engine. So I'm just going to run the lift pump quite a few times, turn over the engine, and see if I get any luck. So I'm not seeing any fuel at the return line. I don't even know where the shutoff is. But if the shutoff is closed, it's not going to start. This piece of angle iron has something to do with the throttle. Cranking over a few times, we got all these seeds. Okay, so we're getting no smoke out of the exhaust, so that means we're not getting fuel. I think I might look into that throttle a little more, see what's going on with that. The shot off is by the injection pump. Let's see if it starts up. This video was a will it start and it started all right so now what with this engine 
I have a hydraulic pump that come with it. It's for a forklift, so I would think it's a pretty good hydraulic pump. But I'm not really sure, because what I have in mind would be a wood splitter. I have noticed a couple things about the engine. There's a broken exhaust bolt right there. Typically on the flywheel housing is where your engine mounts will be. Like this would be one engine mount, there's two bolts to it. And this engine mount sitting over here. And this is all in the way now, but the holes down there, they're stripped out and plumb out, wore out. So there would be a little bit of repair work, but totally minor stuff. Definitely would have to clean out the fins here on the side. There's a minor mouse nest in there. New filters. Ah, the whole throttle thing, that's just, that thing's cobbled. First, I guess I didn't really realize it, but looking at it now, I can just see it's, it's a piece of angle iron and somebody just went to town on that thing. But anyways, totally minor stuff.